Starting out with this little one. This is the Trofast. I don't know how to say it. Um, T-R-O-F-A-S-T. We're going with that. Most of the time, these IKEA pieces come with the tools needed to assemble them. So hopefully that's in here. If not, I'm gonna have to go get my screwdriver. So we've got this one put together. This is the tall skinny one. This is going to be the wide one that sits down like this. We're gonna throw this one together. It goes together the same way. Yeah. So we'll get that done and then we'll start doing the hat. Okay, so this is the bottom and this is the top. Because these go on the same and these holes are drilled so then they go on the same. Alright, so slide that on. Hang on. Why is it on? This is easier than Legos, Dad. Easier than Legos? Yeah. We just run these down. I wanted the organizers from Ikea to look like the desk that I made for Eliza last summer. These side braces are going to be made out of 2 by 2s that I picked up at Home Depot and they're going to be 41 and 3 quarter inches long. That'll account for a 6 inch overhang on the bottom and I'll have a 6 inch leg when I'm done. I drilled a hole an inch from the top of the board with my 3 8 counter sink bit and I did the same on the bottom of the board but I went 7 and a quarter inches up to account for the leg that I want to produce. Once the holes were drilled I just put a little bit of glue where the legs are going to run and then screwed them in. Next I cut four short boards to run at the bottom and the top of the organizer and these are 8 and 13 16 inches long cut out of the same 2x2 two two board. I also drilled countersink holes in these and attached them with screws the same as I did the legs. Once the first side was done I just copied it on the other side and replicated the same process. This is where the math can get a little bit tricky when I put the X in. I've got this board cut at 33 and 3 8 inches and then on each end are parallel angles cut at 12 degrees. If you use the same IKEA Trofast organizer that I'm using, these measurements will work and you won't have to redo any of the math. I'm using my 18 gauge nail gun to fasten these in. They're not load bearing, it'll hold them in great. I need two boards this size to make my other X. I've got a 12 degree angle on one side and then an opposite angle that is 27 degrees. The entire board on the long side of the board is 17 inches long. This piece of wood wouldn't fit in my miter saw so I had to use my circular saw to make the cut. Once I assembled both sides, I just took the sander and sanded them down. I'm using my orbital with 120 grit. Moving on to the larger organizer, these legs on this one are 26 and a half inches long and the crossbar on here is 14 and 1 8 inch long. The crossbar for the X on this one is 22 and a half inches on one side and it has parallel cuts at 32 degrees. For the other side of the X you'll need the outer angle cut at 32 degrees, the inner angle cut at an opposing 20 degrees and the total length on the long side should be 10 and 5 eighths inches.
Now that the building's done, we're gonna get ready to staining and painting. We wanna make this look as much as possible like the desk, so we'll put the link above here, that we did earlier for Eliza. So we're gonna use the exact same stain, which is Dark Walnut by Minwax. And I'm just gonna stain kind of the outside. I'm not gonna worry about the inside because I'm not really gonna be distressing that. And I wanna make sure that everywhere that I'm distressing with my orbital sander, that the dark is showing through. So I'm using some gloves. I've got a old sock and I'm just gonna put it on here. And I'm not worried about 100% full coverage because I'm painting over the top. I just wanna make sure that I don't have any puddles because if you leave puddles of stain, it won't dry. Now that the stain is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and spray them. I'm using Fairy Chalk Mother. The color is Snowflake. That way it'll match the desk. I'm spraying because it's a little bit quicker. If you're not set up to spray, that's all right. You can go ahead and brush it on. If you wanna replicate this look, you can pick this paint up at jamierayvintage.com. Okay, so I've got my mask, I'm getting ready to sand. I'm using my orbital sander with 220 sandpaper. I'm gonna go across all the edges, and then when I'm all finished, we'll remove all the dust, and Zeb will put on a couple coats of Sweet Pickens Top Coat. I'm sealing the pieces with Sweet Pickens Top Coat. You can pick that up at jamierayvintage.com as well. If you're not set up to spray it like I'm doing in the video here, you can also brush it. We use a Wooster foam brush and I'll be sure to put the link in the description for you. All right, so the Ikea hack is all finished. We didn't quite know what we were gonna do with these organizers when we brought them home. Jamie was thinking paint, maybe some bun feet, some trim around the top, which would be cool, but I wanted them to match her desk, so I just replicated what I'd already done on the desk. <laughs> you're gonna whack me in the chair. <laughs> John, I'm pointing at stuff. <laughs> he wanted them to match the desk, and they actually turned out really good. It looks like a matching set. I think for most of our life, a lot of our kids' rooms have really been a hodgepodge, so I feel like we're coming, we're maturing, and that we're trying to bring a cohesive look to the house, but we're still not spending a ton of money, so. No, I mean, $100, maybe a little more than that for the organizers and the trays, and then the wood was... Four, yeah, it was like $14, $15 at Home Depot for the 2 by 2s so. Yeah. Really inexpensive, super sturdy, one of a kind pieces. And you know, if farmhouses are really your thing, you could you could switch it up. You could leave out the X and just do the edge and have a more modern look and you don't have to distress it. You could go with a solid finish, you could mix things up a little bit, and you could really create a look that fits your space. It's nice because it gets it up off the floor, so you can see more of the floor. It makes the room feel bigger if you can see all the way to the wall. And I actually think this is sturdy enough. If you wanted to put like a little pad on and maybe shorten the legs, you could also make it into an entry bench. Yeah, or even like a... A mud room. It makes a great entertainment center. It's big enough for a small TV. The biggest thing when you're buying stuff at Ikea is what you're buying needs to be sturdy. I love that these were solid wood. Jack. I love that when you get things that are solid wood that you can really add to them and it's a really sturdy fit. Like it just glues up and screws really nice and tight. Yep. All right, so to give a brief rundown, we used Fairy Chalk Mother and Snowflake, Sweet Pickens Top Coat, both of which you can get at jamierayvintage.com. The wood and the stain came from Home Depot and the middle pieces and the buckets came from Ikea. You can probably build the whole thing for around $150. You can get both pieces. I think that I think that it turned out pretty good. Jack helped a ton. Did you help put these together? Are you mom's big helper? Mostly Jack just likes to be on camera. So here he is. <laughs> Anyways, be sure to hit that notifications button. We're gonna have another video up tomorrow of a few more design things, and then we're gonna get the um, the Eliza's room tour up probably Saturday, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we gotta get some stuff up on the walls, maybe some art, we're gonna work on that. Yeah, the room tour will either be Saturday or Monday, just kind of depending on how long it takes me to get the design pulled together. But don't forget to hit that notifications button. Stop by jamierayvintage.com, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY.